Welcome back everyone to Vanished. Uh, since the last episode, I have let take uh, through quite a few years. Uh, there were phew, some troubles, let me tell you. Uh, I added some extra farms, finally got my sheep back. Uh, currently producing some wool and mutton, perfect. I did uh, have a bit of an issue. Uh, my food supply was slowly going down. I was like, oh, I should build more farms. And then nomads showed up. They're like, hey, can we become part of your village? And I simply said to them, yes. And that almost collapsed my entire food supply. Luckily, beans are harvested earlier on in the season. So that gave me just that little extra room. And I created a bit of a farming area up here. And now that the food has spiked back up, as apparent by this graph, let me just, it's back up to pre-nomad times, which was around here. We have more nomads. This time it's 37. So the question here is, what should I do? Should I turn them away and deny them access to my wonderful village? Or should I allow them and risk losing everything? The correct answer here is to deny them to make sure that my food supply is stable and I have a large surplus. But what I'm going to do is allow them because why not? And they'll all for the most part go there, except I guess not a lot of them. How many are here? Oh, that is that's pretty full. Okay, so now that we have a lot more laborers, we jumped quite a bit, I think I'm going to expand over this way. So the first step is to probably build build it right hmm, I don't know where. Build it right here, because that as long as oh that's so right here is fine. Build right there. And we'll get a couple more houses over here. Just to kind of Actually, let's not build there in case I want to add another farm, which I probably do. Let's actually queue some farms up. And there we go. And what I'll do is I'll set the roads up. Hi. Done that one too far? No, I don't think I did. Um, okay, so I'm gonna build some extra houses. Start that. Also, build our roads. There we go. So let us get builders right on it this is priority number uno and then we're also going to need a storehouse over here our storage barn let's get one right there and a stockpile so I don't want to go that far well 8 by 10 Get that going around. Alright, so let's hope that this does not collapse my food stocks, which it already seems like it is, and there's an outbreak of yellow fever. That's fantastic over here. So that fisherman should immediately go. Oh, hopefully sometime soon, maybe once this day's done, there we go. Walks right past everything. I don't have oh I do have a direct road. Why did you go that way? Where are you going? Why did you go all the way to that one? Ah, oh, you're gonna make everyone else sick now. Jeez. Now one of the nomads already going to school. That's fantastic. People coming over here to clear, hopefully they clear out the stockpile first because that will speed up everything else. And then I can also build a fishing hut over here, some houses, maybe a quarry. And some more farms. Food stocks are still going up. It is harvest season though. So that might explain that. 
but I'm feeling pretty good, you know? A lot better than I did the, the first time I accepted Nomad's in. So that's almost done. I also have to be concerned about schooling and stuff. I do have a school and a hospital up this way. And I don't think that's too far for them, but I'll probably still put a school up here. It's good to have a school in every district type of situation. And I don't want to expand too quickly because my supply of stone is not the best either. There's lots of, I think that's iron. Could be stone. Yeah, it's all iron over there. There is stone over here, quite a bit of it. So it would be good to collect all that. Once this is done, then they won't be walking back and forth to drop stuff off in the stockpile, which is currently what's killing me. The reserve of stone is low, but we got two farms. Uh, doo -doo. So let us set the farm. I did also get a couple more uh, vegetables, so we'll do squash and pumpkins together. So we got potatoes and peppers and potatoes and peppers. So those should get automatically set. Apparently not. That's okay. We're going to have to pop in uh, quite a bit more people into the vendors. I think each one of these prefer having a full set of 12. Yeah, right now we're at half. Um, so we're going to have to add like another five or so people into the vendors, which do right now actually. Graveyard, it's about, it's half full, exact, that's good to know. Lots of people going to church, that church is full. You're probably getting everyone from over here as well, but you also have that church. And uh, looks like a lot of people are getting cold, because they're homeless in winter, which makes sense. But I need more stone means they have to go walking pretty far. Alright, so now it looks like my issue isn't a food shortage this time around. It is a stone uh, shortage. So over here, I'll probably add a quarry and make this a, a very industrial kind of center. Maybe a couple quarries over here. Right, what's the trader got? He's got hide coats. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need any hide coats, but thank you. Logger, or the foresters are still hitting the max, which is great. Venison, producing some nice leather. Wool. Uh, so that should mean that we have a decent supply of, wood, of wool now, so we should be able to go at least to the wool coat. And I should probably make another spot for the sheep. Maybe, I don't know where I'd put that. Maybe right there? Probably not. Seems a bit too small. Hmm. I could get rid of the second chickens. I think maybe that's probably the best bet, but I don't know. I think I'll, I'll keep them because it is a valid food source. It's a food source I would like to keep. Come on guys, it's one more tree to knock down. And then you don't have to keep walking back and forth to drop stuff off. How is this gatherer's hut doing? Not too bad, about 2,000 food, or 2,200 food a season, that's pretty good. It's technically more than the farms. I mean, they didn't produce much last season, but these guys, 500. Is that really almost 700? Oh, maybe I should should not be growing potatoes. These guys are 560. What is the best vegetable then? Pumpkins, 600. 700 for peppers. So maybe I should be going peppers for everything. Uh, I'll get some more seeds and then I'll have to do a comparison. I mean, get a lot of wheat, but I don't think people eat the wheat. We don't have like a, uh, a mill to mill it all into flour and then a bakery to bake it all. But our food stocks are dwindling. 
we're getting a little kind of summer kick up of, um, of the beans, which is good. And now that that's getting built, we can start building all the houses over here. And let's also get the fisheries. and hope for the best. Once that gets completed, they'll start taking everything from all over the place, and uh, this will become an, a prosperous area, hopefully. We do have enough, a lot of citizens to use as well for the fishery, which I'll actually put the houses right next to it. I think I I can move that over a bit more. There. Nice kind of coastal lodging. And yeah, that was slightly too off to be able to to go there. So I'll just do three on that side. And as well, we need to get another quarry. Yeah, that will be outside of that. Perfect. So just build that there. And eventually people will start building everything. Ooh, stone is low. Okay, I knew that was, was coming. We are already making uh, steps. Oh, the farmer died during childbirth. That's unfortunate. The real question is, did the child survive? Because that's, that's what I want to know. That's our overview. Population 315. I'd like to get a population of 300 adults. That would be stupendous. All right, so what's this trader got? He's got walnut and corn. Um, you know what, I want the corn seeds. I want to see how much the corn will do for us. So I think this is around 620. And then I need four iron and you're good. So we're gonna trade that. And we're gonna dismiss you. And then up here, let's actually set these guys to be corn. I think that's more of a late in the season harvest, but it might produce more. And uh, that's what we're looking for in the end. I also want to build another school over here and probably a hospital as well as a well. Can't forget that. Well, 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 well. We'll build that there and uh, put the hospital up here. Stone cutter was crushed by a rock. You guys gotta watch out for that. Up, up and running and we're actually gonna just harvest everything right here that does cut in a bit to the forester's lodge that's not the main concern I have it's mainly the food concern so and stone we're gonna focus on that Ooh. but that was pretty close to possibly being a poor decision to accept all the, the nomads again but I think it's paying off. And we've got a fisherman here. Look at him. He's already caught 20, 24 fish this year. Uh, we do have some people getting cold, so we don't have enough clothes being produced. So what's our inventory for wool? 247. And we got a lot of wool coats. So I think up here, we are getting some wool in there and wool coats, and you should also have wool. So what we're gonna do is we have the houses right there. We are gonna set up our second tailor. I do have a second blacksmith already. He's just in charge of creating iron tools, but the steel is really what we want. He's just there to to fill up our, our trader, essentially. So we are selling 
iron tool, so I can actually switch him to steel now. And he can just start pumping out the steel. There we go. Coal, though, I would like another coal mine at some point. Am I able to build another one right here? I am. Let's build another one. And I gotta figure out where the road should start. Looks like it's gonna finish right there. Pop up like that. Add some more houses down here as well. Everyone who lives here will know that they are there for the mines. Okay. So everything up here is just about to build. Which is good. But we uh I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. Actually, I'm gonna wait for the harvest because I wanna see how much corn. Will, will be produced. So last season, we'll say this was a pumpkin patch, so we'll say 700. We'll see how much corn gets produced. And then that will determine if I'm going to use more corn or keep with the pumpkins. So far, I think it's the pumpkins that have been. Can't really use that one. This is the even comparison. Yeah, the pumpkins I think have been the better haul. Although, this field, how big is that field? Seems to be harvesting quite a bit. It's a 12 by 8 as opposed to 8 by 14. Maybe we should look at doing a couple more of those smaller ones. If it's just the single farmers, perhaps they're losing some of their yield. But we got a couple builders, a child, traders back. What's he got for us? Got I, got, I don't have peaches, but I'm not interested in the orchid quite yet. Don't have pear, don't have chestnut, don't need that, and he can just go. Alrighty. So we got six. Six at each, that's great. We're doing very well. And it's autumn, and it looks like they're starting to harvest the corn. Perfect. How's the mine down here do? I want you to switch to coal. And I need a lot more miners. So I'm not going to go all the way. I have three, so I want something divisible by three. We'll do 36, so 12 uh, miners each. And then I need a lot more houses in this area. So, stone is low. Kind of already knew that was going to happen building a ton of stone houses. As well as using a lot of stone for the pathways. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Is that, yeah, it's another stone load. So hopefully this will get built soon. I would like to max out the amount of people working in the stone cutters to uh, get a lot more stone. But we will find out how much of that. So you're not doing too well, but you might just be getting established. So the corn is almost done harvesting. What are you at so far? 728, okay, so so far you're tied with the pumpkin. You're not, but where are you coming from? Because you seem to be a lot slower, huh? You might have been slower to start. And how much pepper have you done? 756. So, so it depends on the season too, by or the year as well. Some years will be more bountiful, I suppose. This was a bountiful year by the looks of it. Perhaps uh, with all the extra people, some other people were helping harvest. That could uh, be partially the case. But I'm not too sure on that. It'd be interesting to know what actually caused this surplus. 
But with that question unanswered, I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.